Yes, that's right. It's Joe here for Joyrider TV. I'm here today with Declan. Hello. Welcome to Sweden. And yeah, that's right. We're in Sweden and this is the perfect opportunity to try one of the most custom spec'd getaways on the planet, see what it's like to sail. And then of course, we're going to be seeing how fast does it go if we send it. Okay, so we've got quite a shallow and weedy exit to the sailing area here. So uh, sailing out with not much rudder in the water, but she feels very easy to sail, even with the rudders like this. Now, when your rudders are half cocked like this, it's important not to have, not to be pulling on them too much because you could damage your blades. So very much steering the boat using the sails. So I've got the main sail quite well eased. Uh, with the jib in tight, it means we can still sail upwind, just kind of using the rudders to hold us straight, and then tacking the boat, cranking the main in hard. The boat then wants to turn into the wind. This boat does exactly what you expect. Um, well, that is sailing without any rudders and um, very shallow water. And one of the features that strikes you immediately is this big long trampoline and the front beam relatively far forwards for the size of the boat. Um, we'll see how, what that does to how it feels once we crank it up. In fact, let's fast forward to when there's enough water and we crank it up. Okay, so we've now got deep enough water. It's a nice bit of wind, probably 15 knots maybe of wind. As you can see, we're rolling with uh, custom whirlwind sails. Just gonna stretch my legs, see how it feels. We've got the immaculate Malcheski Composites Pro Joyrider Tiller Extension in this stunning blue weave, uh, which really does look fantastic. That was the prize for winning the Getaway Speed Stick Challenge last year. What a, what a, what a prize that was. Um, yeah, and the other key modifications, uh, Declan's really put this boat together for speed. So one of them is he's got rid of the forward trampoline. No need to do any family fun sailing when there's speed on the table. Um, you could still do family fun sailing, of course. But um, yeah, so that's come off. The picnic bench wings have come off uh, just to reduce the windage. And wow, this place is, is really quite stunning for sailing. What a view, what scenery. All right, so we're going for a tack off the trapeze. Here we go. Woo. And here we go. Here we go, and here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, so perhaps if you want to go out first this time, for a change of perspective, we need to try not to fly the hull too high for the, uh, for the camera, yeah. to do already was to start the water speed app yeah. so I'm just gonna start that now yeah the water speed app is probably the best speed tracker you can get for iOS devices at the moment um, not only does it tell you how fast you've been it also gives you about as many stats as you could ever hope for so you can see what speed you did over two seconds, five seconds, 10, one minute, uh, five minutes, a mile. And uh, of late, I have been using the water speed app um, to get the telemetry with telemetry overlay uh, because the new GoPro 12 doesn't have an inbuilt GPS. Shame on you, GoPro, for not having a GPS on there. But with the water speed app, and telemetry overlay, it's quite easy to overcome that problem. 
Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like the wind is a little bit on the puffy side. It was feeling like it was going to be a bit more, but this boat has got so much volume, it almost doesn't matter where you sit. You can really just make yourself comfortable and uh, there you are. All right, there is pressure on its way. What is that in the middle? Is, is that actually a, That's a, that is a, uh, a boat? Yeah, a barbecue barge. Wow, can we stop and can, can we stop and get a hot dog? Oh, it's private. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We can ask if they have a license. Yeah. We're the barbecue bar barge inspector. Oh, is there? Don't worry about it. I'm guessing this might be a common conversation piece over the next couple of days. Yes, definitely. There are rocks, but don't worry about it. But I think I'll be saying worry about it. Yeah. Alright, should we go for attack there? Yeah. Okay, and tacking very easy it really does in fact the next one i'll try with perhaps with less technique and i bet she'll still go because i get the impression she wants to she just wants to behave she wants to please yeah okay all right so zero technique tack so i'm gonna tack with no main sheet on let's see if she's still keen I get the impression she will be. Yeah, there you go. Because once the jib's backed, uh, it's a done deal, as we know. Um, it's either a done deal, you could just continue turning, or it's a done deal and you could back up. Thank you very much. Um, not all getaways, by the way, come with a crew who will hand you your trapeze wire. Uh, that's only... Some come with crews that'll hand you a beer. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah they with the ice buckets here. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've got is this just storage here? Yeah, but it's an ice bucket that drains. Oh wow. Specifically for ice and Yeah, yeah. drinks containers. Uh Hobie really have done a great job with this boat for the purpose that it's for. Yeah. And you can see that's just some flotsam. Yeah. All the way okay, so I think what we should do is take her downwind, mm -hmm. see how she goes there, perhaps before this floating obstacle. Yeah, on the downwind, again, uh, very predictable, exactly what you'd expect from any type of boat. I suppose the thing that you notice a little bit more is the weight of the boat that gives it that sort of inertia that just makes you feel that even if the wind drops it doesn't slow down as quickly as a lighter weight boat would do um all right so we're gonna go for a jibe oh yeah rocks. contact all right contact uh oh wait with the jibe oh, okay all right, but yes, jibe. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've hit the bottom a couple of times, but uh, the rudder system is the same. Well, it's the same as on all of the modern fiberglass Hobies, uh, except this is with the open D castings rather than the closed castings like on a 16, uh, which works exactly as you'd expect. Uh, very easy getting the rudders up and down when you hit the bottom yeah. repeatedly. <laughs> All right, so it's not so windy, but we're gonna go for a send to see what we can get out of her. So keep your eyes on that telemetry data in the corner of the screen to see I am thinking, what could we hope for? 15 knots, I would say, is perhaps 
perhaps a shade optimistic with this wind. In fact, very optimistic. Oh, and there we go. Yeah. <laughs> we could probably do well just sitting in. So there we go, another tack, pretty poor one because we started quite far off the wind, but because of the weight of the boat, it just goes through, it doesn't stop. Okay, here we go. Bit of wind coming up. This is the big one. This is the one we've waited for. You can stay out, I'll stay on the boat. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got quite a lot of weight between us. Um, I get, don't know what gives me that impression, but... Uh, Okay, we have a bit of wind coming on. Gonna go for another, go for another go. Yeah, bit more wind on its way. There it is. Oh yes. Wow, she really picks up well with that extra bit of wind. Yeah, this is very cool actually. Oh, there's the bottom. Uh, okay, but. Okay, next gust. Okay, so Declan's uh, jumped off to let me have a go on my own. So um, let's have a go and see. <laughs> In this wind, can we crank her up and get some pace out of her? Oh yes, wow, it's, it's very cool. Let's see if we can get the hull out of the water. Now, Chief Navigator and Shallow Bit uh, Watcher is not on the boat anymore, so I don't know if I'm about to hit the bottom or not. Uh, we just have to uh, hope for the best. Yeah, she picks up very nicely, single-handed. These whirlwind sails just pull really well, I have to say. Um, now, we have got a bit of flappy leech on the jib, which uh, <laughs> could be addressed by moving the tack of the jib up, that'll put more tension into the leech. In answer to the question, does it send? I'd say I certainly get the feeling that it does, but just not in this wind. I think if, if we spent a bit of time uh, tuning the rudders um, and through 20 knots of wind at the boat, um, a stripped down version like this with the wings off, front trampoline off, I think we could get 20 knots out of it. All right, time to jibe. I would say, as far as small beach catamarans go, this has got to be the ultimate party boat with the wings on there, the front trampoline, load her up with six people, um, 
have a couple of uh, of cold drinks in the uh, in the amply spaced hatches and uh, good times all day. All right, just gonna get forwards a bit. Oh no, we've lost the rudder. Rudder one, gone. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can pull off the good landing. We'll just lift the nose just a bit. Yeah, we're on target. Yeah. Coming around for a 709er. All right. What a great landing solution. Basically, what Declan's got here is two, uh, in fact, I think it's four aluminium ladders with rubber pipe, plastic pipe on there. And for the plastic boat, I'd say this would work for a Hobie 16 as well just slides out of the water nice and easy. No need for the wheels. Okay, so there we go. Um, Declan, how has the getaway been for you? Well, I think it's been a fantastic boat to learn on. It's certainly big, so for solo sailing, it's a big boat. Uh, you need to be confident in riding something like this. But as you could see today, it was so forgiving. Uh, so as a novice sailor on cats, yeah very good choice for like family sailing just fun sailing uh going camping picnics yeah and i should think if you hit the beach or if you hit land on one of these you're going to do more damage to the land than you do to the boat joe thanks so much for coming to sweden and you know i wouldn't be a cat sailor today without your videos on youtube so thank you so much for what you do for the community uh you've improved my life so thank you oh wow it's great to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, you're so welcome.